I would say it's a pleasure to be here, but uh, obviously in these circumstances it really isn't. In the election, the, member, the last Member of Parliament for my constituency, Glasgow South, uh, was Tom Harris. And Tom used his last Prime Minister's question to ask about this very issue. Uh, suggesting quite correctly that uh, we should focus more on humanitarian causes rather than economic muscle uh, when determining our foreign government relationships. I found out today actually uh, that Rife had spent some time in Glasgow, which I was completely unaware of. Uh, so if any of you have information on that, please come forward and let me know. The issue here is hugely important, it should not be underestimated. The ability to think freely and write freely and have critical thinking printed to the masses is hugely important. It, it leads to the betterment of the human race, the, it leads to the flourishing of ideas. It makes our ideas better. It causes us to argue. We've been doing a lot of that in my country for the last uh, couple of years. You might have noticed. It causes us to argue passionately, but we're able to do that respectfully. And religion shouldn't be above that. We can criticise art, literature, political ideas. Sometimes we criticise each other, but we probably ought not to. But religion and, and politics shouldn't be above that. It shouldn't be above that level of scrutiny. And shouldn't be above that level of argument. Indeed, a, a free press should be partial, impartial, hugely, hugely frustrating sometimes. It should be emotive, should be fair, should be unfair, but that's exactly how it ought to be. It ought to be a free press so that we can get ideas debated in the public realm. I've had a look back over some documents, but each time that Mr. Benali's case has been mentioned in the House of Commons, in this Parliament, and indeed the last Parliament. And what I can't find anywhere is a government minister who has said explicitly and without equivocation that Mr. Badawi should be set free. And that is hugely, hugely disappointing. In the Scottish Parliament, uh, there has been a motion lodged by uh, my colleague Christine Graham, one of uh, our members of the south of Scotland, calling for just that. And I'm pleased to see that's received support in the Scottish Parliament from Labour members, uh, SNP members, Liberal members, Green members, and I think even one or two Conservatives as well. But we, we must focus on this, uh, and we must work hard on it in this Parliament. Uh, I was saying to uh, Joe just before we started, as a brand new MP, a lot comes at you in the first six weeks. And I made the mistake in the first couple of days of agreeing to meet every single person who said he wanted to meet me and go to every <laughs> single event that I was ever invited to. And very quickly learned that you have to pick and choose them quite carefully. And I chose to come here tonight and go today because this is something I care passionately about uh, as a huge fan of Salman Rushdie, and in particular his book, Joseph Anton, which if none of you have read, please make sure you do. Um, that has inspired me to use the position I am in to highlight this case, and one of my short-term goal, goals will be uh, to get a statement from a, a member of the government uh, saying without equivocation that Mr. Badawi should be free. The last thing I want to say, is I don't want to, to say too much, uh, is that as a campaign here, as a campaign internationally and in communities all across the country, we must resist wholeheartedly the intimidation tactic that seemed to have been adopted by the Saudi embassy here in London, where they have asked that politicians from foreign governments and parliaments, us obviously being one of them, don't meddle in the affairs of the Royal Kingdom. Uh, this affair goes much, much further than the Royal Kingdom. This is an assault on everything that we hold dear. It's an assault on decency. It's an assault on humanity. 
So we should not be scared uh, to use our own intimidation tactics, you might say, such as the protests outside the embassy on a regular <coughs> basis. I'm interested to hear how <coughs> people think I, as an MP, can can make that argument both here in the Parliament or directly to the Saudi authorities or in any other way. And indeed, we're hoping to have some kind of event uh, back up in Glasgow uh, as well, because I can assure you that the feeling on this issue is very, very strong uh, and something I, I received, I'm sure other candidates did, lots of emails about during the general election campaign. So well done to for organising tonight, well done for organising today. Um, and I just hope I can play my small part uh, in achieving the goal of freeing Mr. Badawi.